It's all crime. This is the place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and. This is Diana Duwop, and you are listening to the Elijah Bailey Podcast. Thanks for downloading the Elijah Bailey Show from iTunes or BlackStudios.com. And here's a word from some of the folks that make it possible for you to hear this show for free every Thursday. Hey everybody, Elijah 5000 here. The Buckety and myself, thank you guys so much for supporting the show. But we wanted to make sure that you know where to go to get amazing original pop culture t-shirts. Go to our sponsors at riftapparel.com and at checkout, use promo code Elijah Bailey Show to save 10% on whatever your purchase is. It could be clothing, it could be backpacks, it could be posters, it could be a figurine that they have. Whatever it is, you get the lowest price. So again, promo code Elijah Bailey Show at checkout and save 10%. And three, two, one. I think you're saying like the opposite of what happened. Did I mess it up even more? I think I did. No, I think it's... Okay, well, this guy's got to fix the screen. But I'm Elijah 5000. We're here for our 198th episode. Only two episodes to go to the big 200 for the Elijah Bailey Show. Uh, If you're new... To the podcast, we do this podcast weekly. The first week of the month, we cover comics. The second week of the month, we cover anime. The third week of the like month, a, I look like one of those, like a, one of those uh, podcasters. You do, you do. Uh, the third week, I don't of the associate month, myself with them. With it, I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm no longer a podcaster. You're just an entity. Yes, That's right. But the third week of the month, we cover video games. Fourth week is our Bailey Bugle, and um, I do got to say because we talked about it on episode 200, we're going to be streaming live from facebook yes so 200 which is two episodes away yeah december 15th we will be streaming live from the elijah bailey show page so uh check us out there celebrate with us come on in and (laughs) chat with us us. and we had a week off last week it was thanksgiving so hopefully you guys enjoyed your thanksgiving turkeys i had thanksgiving uh burgers nice how was it It it's all right it's all right because we like i was actually off thanksgiving uh, Jessica worked naturally, and then because you're normally off on Thursdays. Thursdays, yeah. yeah. But I ended up out of the house from like nine o'clock until like after Jessica got off. Like I went to visit her at our store because our store was like fucking crazy. Mm. She she uh, we we do merchandising, and she was at Walmart. Everybody's coming in on uh, Thursday to just get the leftovers. That's what it was. And I was clear. She had all these pallets and stuff. She had to work, so I went to visit her and. Try to help her relax and chill out, but Thanksgiving wasn't bad. Uh, after the, I think I uh, streamed actually. So if you guys were on this channel, twitch.tv forward slash Elijah underscore five thousand, I streamed some Death Stranding, mm. which you guys got to hear me cuss and, and talk about shit. And then I got into Cal's Journey five years after Order Six. 66. Six. And I started Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and it's fucking phenomenal. And we'll talk mm. about this in the show. But uh, thank you guys for joining us for episode 198. This is the Buckety, the underscore Buckety. Hello, everybody. Like, even if you write his real name, there's an underscore in between his first and his motherfucking last name. Remember that? Uh, I'm Elijah 5000 because there are 5,000 ways that I can easily kill you with a toothpick. Yes. I feel like every... And a Q-tip. It originated with a Q-tip. It was. Now that he's gotten older, he needs a toothpick. Are you trying to to say I'm not as sharp as what I once was? Yeah. No, no, I am. <laughs> it's okay. It's not okay. Yeah. I don't like that. It makes me feel old. Gotta embrace it, man. <sighs> Gotta embrace it. But when you hear that, the nasty music. You know what time it is. You know what goddamn time it is. You know time it is time for the buck. I, whenever I say buck, I see Richard going like this, like <laughs> bucking in my head. So it makes me, makes me happy. It's natural. It's natural. But the Elijah Bailey Show starts right fucking now. Hey, hey, 
Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, friend. Hey, pal, buddy. Oh, hey. go in there. Hey, buddy. Go in there. Yeah. Go there. <laughs> no, because I keep meeting some like Middle Eastern people. I'm like, hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, good job. Hey, you want to do this for me, buddy? And then whatever they want me to do, I can't understand, but I understand the fuck out of the buddy and hey, and how are you? Okay. Buddy? 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 I feel like we could be Migos with the buddy. Of course. Um, but we're here. Let's turn down the music. Now, normally, because this is the first week of December, this is December 1st. So it's which, December 1st. Yes. Which has been a while since the first is filling on Sunday. <laughs> it has been. Uh, but we normally talk comics, and there's going to be some comic stuff. Now, remember, manga are comics as well. It's just a different way of saying it. But uh, we missed the bugle, so we're going to throw in some bugle facts. And I, I guess I'm going to talk about some of the games that I've been playing because even though you pre ordered Shinmu 3, you haven't had a it chance. It's sitting there. I have it. It's just sitting there. I, I couldn't believe it because I was. It's not even downloaded. It's not even installed holy yet. Holy shit. I was dead sure that you had already downloaded and you mm. played some. Nope. Wow. Mm, this, this past, I don't even know this man. Yeah, I don't know. Past, he doesn't. That's the cool part. Uh, these God. past two weeks have like been a huge, uh, busy, stressful two weeks. I got deadlines coming up for the classes I'm in. Mm. So I got to really, catch that's, up. That's one thing I've been cranking out. Uh, we lost two people in our family. Yeah. Uh, so that's been an a issue. Um, my car has some mechanical issues <laughs> then D's car has she blew her tire and then uh, she her tire her spare was flat of course because you know that's, that's yeah. how it is <laughs> so it's just been like a but it's this beautiful is... though it's beautiful sometimes yeah. you miss the storms because yeah. only the storms can really make you stronger and greater yep. and um Sometimes you need those in your life, and you forget about them until so, they come. Exactly. And then when they come, you're so busy, stressed out, and you're crying about it. You're you're ruining the, this perfect, beautiful Moment. time. Yeah. So December twelfth, be careful. There will be a new buckety here. Be a new one. So oh, man. on on that coming note, in 2020. <laughs> coming into 2020. Coming into 2020. He said it was some shit. Yeah. Damn. Uh, like this motherfucker wasn't talking. He wasn't talking gibberish. Shit, he, was, he, he, was, like, he meant that shit. Anyways, mm. like you were saying, man. What are you yeah. gonna play? Oh, we're gonna go oh, right in there. Remind me, I got your Xbox down, sir. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I will remind you. Um, so we we kind of hit on this last time. Death Stranding. You had some questions. About that game that you asked on air. Okay. And I have uh, completed many more missions, delivered many more packages. Uh, and I say many as at least five to six because it is a very. Let's just keep it real, dog. Arduous process. Is the game boring? Actually, no. Like, because when you and, and Josh were talking about playing Shinmu and like getting home from school and like going to the job. For some weird reason, even though I work so many fucking hours, I feel that same way. It's like, no, I've got to traverse this world. I've got to maneuver around the BTs. I've got to keep this baby quiet. Does it feel repetitive? Not yet, because they have you go further. And further. You're basically going from the East Coast to the West Coast of the U.S. So you're seeing so, different environments and whatnot it, to kind of yeah, keep it. I mean, I've, I've seen the forest and I've seen a lot of mountain ranges, mm -hmm. but the traversing is different because rivers. I've learned how to build a foundation and build a bridge now that can help other no, um, just back away from it a little bit. Yeah, 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 just, just drop it. There you go. Just drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're hot. I'm, hot, I'm hot. sorry. I'm sorry. It's cool. Uh, but I, I found uh, other things I can leave for other players, and that's one of the cool things. Like even though the players aren't on the map, you can mm -hmm. build a bridge. You can leave like Dark Souls. Yes. Okay. And uh, Metroidvania. Those. It's it's like a it's it's got so many different elements from different games. It keeps drawing you in. The story's really really. Really, really well done to where you're like, what the fuck is happening? Every time there's a new cutscene, you're trying to figure out what has happened to this world, why Norman Reedus is the only person that can handle this, hmm. why, and you work your way up to what they call him, like, oh, no, there's nothing like, um, or what they say, it's like, uh, there's no reason that a legendary uh, Brid or Mailman. Porter, yeah, like you, couldn't get it done. And then it gives you a set, oh, you've made it to... Basic ass bitch mode so as, a, as a porter. Uh, did it? Does it? You know, I don't know if you do this or any other gamers do this, but sometimes I I sit back and especially if it's a different style of a game. Yeah. Like man, what made this person like? I. How did like what made the what made you want to write? 
I, this and I, make this into a video game. I feel like with all the anime I watch, I don't ask those questions anymore. But I keep on saying to myself, like, yeah, he told people it's going to be divisive. But I, so I like it. I like because you have like. Would it be a contender for your game of the year? Fuck yeah. Really? Ag- against the other one that I'm playing. Originality, fucking the licensings they have for the soundtrack, the type of structure and game control that it provides is something new and different that we haven't seen in a while so it, it's a contender in there for mm. those regions okay and I, because i'm just immersed in the story and there's so many hours you put in for the story i can't say oh i'm just delivering these packages because you can pick up whatever you want or leave it on the ground and just go straight to the mission you could probably beat it i think people said probably 20 to 30 hours hmm. without picking up different pack- lost packages and lost cargo and doing different kind of side missions. I'm, I'm in that 70 hour plus haul. Huh. But it, it is contender for a game of the year because oh, nice. it's original. Yeah. And I, I've been I'm on the nerve. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't think there's no way you can make what you just I mean you you did as close as possible you can. <laughs> without make, spoiling anything. Yeah, without yeah. spoiling anything to with making it sound Somewhat interesting, like even a because, little bit. Because you don't walk the whole. Lost time. packages kill you, man. That's they do, a... <laughs> they do. But this is the deal. Like they, sh- oh, they that start lost to... priority package. God no! damn it! Oh, how many points is this gonna think I'm talking? Deliver that by noon. <laughs> Well, better turn on some Tech Nine and keep going. They got Tech Nine in it? No, oh, sadly okay. they don't. But they got some. They got some nice shit. And I would say K-pop, but there's two Korean K-pop stars that just got arrested for rape. So we're not gonna talk about this, those songs. But there's some other good songs. They're all kind of like originals. They See, go. They with think it. they only happen to Americans. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, how does these? It spreads. People it catch does. on. You, you know what they said? You know what was interesting? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The rape, the conquest, the pillaging. The Vikings, pillaging. Yeah, yeah. Europeans, and everywhere. Um, but What else you been playing? Wait a second. Let me oh. hit on the, the K-pop because they said <laughs> they're both 30-year-olds. The K-pop uh, artists? The singers, yeah. And I oh, was they're like, pretty old for K-pop then. Yeah. But most of them are like... And the damage is they're like... Cosby's in their field right now because they said, oh, you know, I feel very remorseful for all the women that I got drunk and took pictures and forced myself on. And then they were like, they're coming out clean with that stuff, huh? After the hearing. And then the hearing's like, Maury Povich came out. I was like, the lie detector says, or it wasn't even Povich. Was this po- yeah, yeah. Povich? Povich yeah, Povich. Yeah, Maury is like, the lie detector test determined that is a lie, and you are the father. And they're like, you know what? We're done with K-popping. So. Wow. But anyway, Death Stranding, like, you start off on a bike, all of a sudden your bike gets fucked up, so now you're walking again. But there's vehicles that you can use, which to are... To packages. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. Like, I, my deal is, like, trying to... The balance functionality... Oh, you can carry these fifteen packages. Uh, you gonna get about twenty more? Can you carry them? I've I've waited. That's my... just crazy that he like. And it's, that's it's... no sh- bullshit. That's the the game. <laughs> I know it is because I've seen a shit ton of gameplay on it. I've Did you seen... see him way down? Yeah, it's like yeah. Oh shit! And you know what? I was oh, like, oh man! I was like, damn, am I playing Diablo right now? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just it's crazy to me. Uh, I mean, I think it's cool because that's something that he's apparently always wanted to create this, yeah. this style of game. Uh, but uh, but we're going to go into more details about the video games we've been doing yeah. uh, on our future episodes. Is it next week? No, this week no, after. two weeks, yeah. Yeah, which we're going to break down our video games of the year, which, man, yeah. I'm kind of stressing about it because I just yeah. can't remember. Dude, last what year the fuck was the year. I play? Because it was, it, last year was Red Dead. Yeah, I might it have was to jump God on Shin Or a Spider-Man and God of War. God of War. And so we had some other Because we all know that Dragon Ball Z, like Fighter Z, is not going to be a contender. It had every... Every bit I can't of, even a, think of a fighting game. I guess Samurai Showdown came out this year. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. I remember, like, not even you had said anything for. I think Jarvis and them said something down at Akon about it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that's talking shit. Yeah, so we'll have um, those. But um, oh, you see, also been playing the Star Wars. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I've heard people say this doesn't feel like a Star Wars game. Fuck off! It feels, feels like an old school Star Wars game. This is pure yeah. linear. I, I haven't played it, but I got to watch a lot of gameplay on oh, it. Oh, yes, it's um, so good. I, I went back and watched episode three and four because this happens between those two. 
and the five shit. years after uh, uh, Order, Order 66, 66 which it, was the when the Empire announced all the Jedi's need to be dealt f- with. Former Senator, Senator. Yes, Palpatine. To, Is it Palpatine? Palpatine. Palpatine. Yeah. To self-proclaimed Emperor Palpatine ordered all the deaths of the Jedi. And so your cow, who was a Padawan that never got to finish his training because of Order 66, and you shamefully survive and that's kind of something that you deal with but right now it's just like fucking and it's beautiful because you really don't have any decisions do you no like it is like you hey, are man, this is the story let's yeah. go yeah it's just you're f- doing that and then you find another and i can't i remember Grease, who is the alien pilot of the ship that you're on and then there's another one that is she says she's a former jedi because of some shit that, yeah yeah that, that is voiced by deborah wilson from mm-hmm. mad tv fucking her fucking dialogue, even the dialogue of the stormtroopers when they don't think you're there. Oh yeah, beautiful. Like, really? Well, I, yeah. If this Jedi comes here, then I'm gonna do this. And, oh, oh, I knew I'd be the last one alive, and then like, <laughs> then they die. But it's it's so that is, I don't know why other people aren't putting this in game of the year. Beautiful aesthetics. Uh, when you go to a planet, when when you're on your ship, you feel like you're part of a universe. Mm. And whether you're a major Star Wars fan or not, this should, this will grab you and pull you in. When you're adventuring, it gets me thinking, I'm like, that's all the fucking Jedi were just like futuristic uh, Indiana Jones. Because yeah. they were going out trying to find stuff and then they would battle and they, were, you know, after the order was assembled, they decided to, um, what is the word I'm thinking of? They preserve the peace and justice of the universe. Yeah. And so Cal is almost tasked with reestablishing the order because he stumbles upon some information about force sensitive children mm-hmm. and you know if you're in Star Wars lore those are the younglings that fucking Anakin demolished ate up. with a he fucking ate vengeance he ate them all uh, and uh, so chomp 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 <laughs> so, so you're presented with this task to start the order new and then potentially be the lead Jedi Master mm. uh, for all of this. And so you're battling with that. You didn't finish your deal. You're just trying to survive. And so it's it's a good mix, and it, it feels like Star Wars. I think the one thing that I love the most, because it starts you off, it says you can be a Jedi Knight, or you can be a Jedi Master, or you can be you know a Jedi, like a Legendary Master or whatever. So I went up to Legendary the next Mary. level. Oh, yeah. Okay. So out of the four levels, I picked number three. Cause that's the hardest. That, it's pretty- that's, that's, that, that'd be like uh, easy, medium, hard. Yeah. And then the other one's harder. And I love it. Like the combat is not too hard. Puzzles do require you to think on some of them because mainly so you're like a Tomb Raider ish fail. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he doesn't have all his Jedi power, so he can slow down time. And they've shown this at E3 and everything else um, when they were talking about it. Like, uh, I had a, a stormtrooper with a machine gun shooting, and I slowed it down. And you could just like fucking uh, uh, Kylo, Kylo Ren. You see this? Yeah, you can see all three of them coming out, and you can sidestep. Have and then you plan your have attacks. you ran up on uh, 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 Bait Daddy yet? No, 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 no. No, uh, I've been mainly fighting the wilderness and stormtroopers, okay. and then um, after each one, you have, have you seen that? Have the Inquisitors popped up on you yet? Mm. Or the Fire Force? Once. Okay. And that's like very beginning, no spoilers here. And that's what kind of sets you off on your journey. Because mm-hmm. they're still out in the land like looking, five years later. They're still looking for Jedi. Oh, right? yeah, and they've heard rumors that there's a Jedi where you were just living your normal dude, nine to five. Th- this is what They happened. roll up on y'all motherfuckers like, hey, somebody. Uh, is the motherfucker. Somebody didn't wash their ass. Yeah. And it is weird because this happens at the very beginning. Friend is falling. You make a choice. Can I save him or not save him? And shortly, briefly after that, they're like, I smell sweet potato pie here. <laughs> Does anybody, you smell like you have been chomping down on sweet, and that's what happens, and that sets the journey off. So amazing. This is another one of my contenders for game of the year. Aesthetics, gameplay, battle mechanics, the story. Boom. Two questions, and we're going to move on. Yeah. Uh, Death Stranding, what's one thing you don't like? Mm. One thing I don't like about Death Stranding is fucking BTs, dude. They're hard to get around. The the, the and BTs the, is the, the monsters the ghosts, that kind yeah. of popped up there. It, it makes you have to think. And I know later on you can get weapons. Do you not and shit. like them just because of the fact it makes the game more difficult, or do you not like Ooh. them because it's just like it's hard? Well, I guess because, that's, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. That's the same question. Do you not like them because the game is hard, or do you feel like this game could actually probably just do just fine without these things? 
As of right now where you're at in the story. Because it's hard. Because the abilities I have now help me somewhat, but remember I'm still transporting packages for to reestablish the connection or the link between humanity. So Mm -hmm. it makes it extremely difficult. And these motherfuckers like they start figuring out patterns it seems like so once you get to a point to where you're maneuvering a little so bit easier, AI is it yeah high. yeah 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 so um it's a personal problem star wars what do you not like mm, star wars what i do not like god these are the real these questions are, yeah, you yeah, ask yeah. him because these these are you keep thinking while yeah. I'm, I'm educating the audience on why <laughs> i ask him these questions because elijah he's he's not passive but he's very positive and optimistic which is great quality um especially as a friend but so when you really want to get some some, some, some dirt and some mm, you got to ask him negative things so what do you uh, not like outside of me personally because outside of this, this is a perfect game yeah because everything is <laughs> outside <laughs> outside him. of me personally like fucking up because there's there's been yeah. a lot of like restarts and retries I do not like the Dark Souls aspect to where when you sit down to meditate you can either just go to your skill tree or you can rest when you rest it resets everything for you but also the AI that you've uh, already killed so that so sucks motherfucker starts popping back up yeah mm. yeah that that, that kind of sucks but then it's also another chance to continue to level up and get XP yeah but then you're like fuck I can't be saving all the time so I'd say that alright with that being said since I already didn't play anything the only thing I've been playing is uh, Gundam Dynasty Warriors 3 on the 360 man uh, which is man yeah it's yeah. a classic it's a though. classic I even pulled out some of my uh, classic uh Gundam action figures from the uh, shed and let Caden um, play with them. Black he, Friday, Cyber Monday. You could just order some. No, I got I got like a tough full of better ones. Well, the ones okay. nowadays are more models. Yeah, you know the ones true. I got are actually like the action figures. Mm-hmm. So he's and what's cool is like he was like uh, he was playing with them. And he's actually really legitly playing with them. Last time yeah. I introduced him to these, it was too young, mm-hmm. and he 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 fucked them up. Yeah. After that, I was like, oh, no, never no, again. No, never again. No, no. This is this is still for all eternity. <laughs> And then we were in the backyard because we were trying to redesign our backyard. And uh, so we were working on some, uh, just cleaning it up, really. And then uh, Joshy Boy came by. Hmm. And um, some went, somehow we started talking about Gundam. And I pulled it out from the shed. And Oof. I let him take uh, the full Vernia Gundam from, okay. uh, I forgot which Gundam that series that it is with El God or the Nightmare of Solomon and all that. I forgot what it is. Um, and then I'll let him take Gundam Alex from uh, War in a Pocket uh, Gundam series. Mm-hmm. And then um, Caius took uh, Shar Zegok because that's the one that's a little bit more sturdy, don't have extra yeah. pieces uh, <laughs> from the original, you know, Mobile Suit Gundam. And what Caden is doing then with them now is that he's putting them in positions and taking pictures. Yeah. Which is which is super legit, and yeah. then it's, it's it's fitting well because we're we're playing this game, and as Dynasty Warriors, everybody knows this game. You know, different main characters from different series drop mm-hmm. in and whatnot, and it's cool to hear him say, "Oh shoot, Dad, you know, Shar just popped up or whatnot." Yeah. So uh, that's pretty much all. That's man. nice yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but then you will have to get on Shinmu Three. I got to get on Shinmu Three. There's, I, I, we've I'm been actually, waiting for this for the, know, since the podcast long. has started. <laughs> And this is what this man does to us. This is exactly this sounds like some, this is perfect stuff <laughs> what Buckley does to y'all. Um, but no, I'm, I'm going to try to really uh, get focused and mm-hmm. um, grind out some anime and some video games uh, before this year ends. So, okay, nice, yeah. nice. And and with that, let's take our first pause for the cause as we put an end to segment one, and then we'll come back with segment two, the report. We'll be right back to the Elijah Bailey Show. Hey folks, this is Elijah 5000 and Monica Robinson, and we're your host of A Little Bit of Anime, your number one stopping spot for all the latest anime news and reviews. If you want to join in all the fun and anime goodness, then make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts and Podbean. And please join us every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Elijah underscore 5000. And remember, please brighten your day with with a little little bit bit of anime. anime. Hey, this is Jamie Limberg, host of Upbeat Urbanism, a podcast where we seek to have an open dialogue about what it takes to create healthy, intentional, sustainable communities, one conversation at a time. Each episode is an interview with a city planner, leader, developer, real estate professional, or community builder. 
To listen, search for Upbeat Urbanism wherever you find podcasts. Follow us on Twitter at UUrbanism and on Facebook at Upbeat Urbanism. Devote yourself to your community around you and devote yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning. Until then, keep it upbeat. And we are back. Look at the face of God. Oh, we're back with the report. Yeah, this how it's labeled. <laughs> yeah, it's show labeled. Notes. I was like, eh. yeah, I, I the Rover report. I haven't pulled up the show notes. A um, baker's dozen, nine thousand. Um. Anyways, <laughs> I figure we'll. Uh, what, 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 yeah. Did you have something lined up? Uh, I just had a couple of news deals that are pretty quick. All right, go for it. All right, so Funimation relicensed Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Black Butler, and uh, a couple of anime for streaming. But these are the it's two main ones. Black Butler. It is. It is the season's greeting. It's on Netflix, on Hulu. Now it'll be back on Funimation along with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So make sure to check that out. And then Gintama season one is finally getting an English dub. Holy shit! I know. Are after, you serious? Yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. gonna be Gintama's okay. voice? Uh, let's see. This uh, is this is no small news, right? Here. I mean, no, 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 this no. is an anime that a it's lot of out. people, Whatever. a lot of people know nothing about, and that's so Purely, weird. It was only because it's, it's it. Uh, no, let me no. break it down. Let me break yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is like a, a top ten anime, hands down, any oh, anime yeah. list you see. But a lot of people don't know about it because two reasons: one, it's sub, so, yeah, and then B, it's since it's being sub, it's not. It did. It wasn't on Toonami. Yeah, it was in it a was, pocket. It was in a pocket. It was not a part one of the animes that we watched just because of us growing up. Because Even though it's Canada been out. Then couldn't pay for the license. Exactly. Because it was, a, it was been a, out for a, a long, this, longest time. If you have watched uh, Psyche K, The Disastrous Life, that is a parody anime. Gintama is one of the original parody anime because it makes fun of everything from Naruto. Everybody. They've got Boruto in there now. Dragon really? Ball. Yeah. I'm not surprised because it's been, I'm, I'm going to look up the Rama date one when half, it actually came out. Um, Full Metal Alchemist, Fairy Tale. They've made fun of every, and almost every anime out there. They've even done Gundam episodes and shit like that, which has led to things like Pokemon. The Gintama started on December 8th of 2003. Felt like it was longer than that. But. 2000. Are you sure? Yeah, that's what Wikipedia says. 2003 to 2018. Uh, let me see. Okay, so for those that don't know, Gintama. Gintama was originally created by Hideki uh, Sorachi for Weekly Shonen Jump in, <laughs> yep, in 2003. Yeah. Yeah. The series is set in Edo period Japan that's been invaded by aliens known as Amanat Amanto. Uh, after the Shogun surrenders, humans. Uh, then are forced to live alongside these invaders. Uh, the series follows Samurai Gintoki Sakata. Look at this jacket. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. Dude, you see that gun nice. jacket, dude? That's so How much clean. is that? It's only in Japan right now. Fuck. Go to Japan. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the series follows Samurai Gintoki Sakata, who picks up odd jobs with his friends uh, Shinpachi and Kagura to pay the rent for their Yorozuna home base. Japan, after uh, after ending its Japan run in Weekly so Shonen cold. Jump and um, fans didn't think it was coming back, it had finally come back. And yeah, again, Tom was the homie. Yeah, started to revolve around some Is other shows. Is he a part of y'all smash pass with the silver hair? He's already been in there, but I need okay. to throw him back because we got Valerie. Valerie is, Valerie is a fellow smasher like myself, unlike Monica or Nikki, who she be passing? She like I don't know. I don't do them. Have Have they dropped a uh, a date? Well, that's uh, that's what I'm start. looking for now. Um, da, 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 da. Hulu has announced that they will be streaming in Thomas season one via Anne, which includes the first 49 episodes of the series with both an English sub and English dub release. This marks the first time uh, that these episodes will have an official English dub, and unfortunately, the cast has not been revealed at this time. Okay, so, so that's the answer still, to your question. Still pretty early then. Okay. Yeah, but it won't be long before we can uh, confirm for ourselves. The nice. Series will I be am available. excited. To to hear that and to, and to start watching that again. It is so um, fucking yeah, good. Yeah, again, Tom was a shit. Uh, next in your news, you had uh, Gohan. Gohan. If you guys are not caught up on the manga, this is a spoiler section. Um, so, yeah. Spoiler alert. Um, five. Yeah, give us four. like what? Do you want to talk about it for like five minutes? Yeah. And I'll put it a little yeah. uh, So, we're going to talk about three, some five minutes. Just fast for your time. Two. 
What? Man, so the newest anime or the newest manga chapter came out for Dragon 54. Ball Super. Yes, Dragon 54. Ball Super 54 yeah. uh, it comes out every month around the 20th, 21st. And this yeah. episode, as we know, Earth is being invaded right now by Moro's, Moro's henchmen. Yeah, the just uh, came scouters. from yeah, More like scouters. Yeah, and they they came from the galactic prison, so they, they landed ha- on they Earth. Have some abilities. Uh, Piccolo was there, ready to bang. Mm, Everybody was ready to bang. Krillin showed up like Krillin. What's up? Hair Sans, I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. Seven, Seventeen. Yeah. Where do you at? Where you at, big fella? He got, he got triplets? Or he do, hey, he got, I don't care. Kids. I don't care. He, hey, he sensed the shit popping off. Uh, so well, he knew he knew Krillin was there. He's a, he's a champion. He is. He's MVP. <laughs> the power tournament. MV motherfucker. Not just, he's a champion. He's yeah. even got the wishes and everything. So uh, 17, yeah. where you at, player? But anyways, uh, everybody was taking L's because that's what the Z Fighters do naturally. Krillin got hit by the Dodoria bowling ball guy. Yes, and then... Uh, Piccolo got beat up by Piccolo himself. Piccolo got a guy... The guy now, that Piccolo's fighting is a copycat. And he, wait a second, the way he does it is he has to grab your neck. No, it's not even a grab. He slaps you in the back of the neck and if you let this dude slap you in the back of the neck, you forfeit your powers pretty much. That's how I see it. See, I... <laughs> if you allow this dude to disrespect <laughs> your neck, yeah. you got to give your powers for like 30 You're minutes. Dead. It's 30 yeah. minutes. It's 30 it? minutes. So it's yeah. like the fusion. Technique. So he got he got all your powers uh, with unlimited stamina. That's uh, the deal that was killing Piccolo because Piccolo couldn't keep up in the battle towards the end because he was using heavy energy blasts. A mm-hmm. Special beam cannon... Uh, and when we get to Gohan, he used the uh, Hell Zone grenade, but he used the uh, big. He used blast everything. Grenade. He used yeah, everything. He's just Piccolo. Piccolo, Piccolo starts taking. This is all on chapter fifty three. So fifty four came around. Gohan pops up like he came straight from class. Like he came, like he came from class, but he quickly transformed to his old school Gohan cell mode because yeah. he came in with a serious face. The first thing, he no did, questions asked. Gohan's, they had to tell him, "Hey, Gohan, just FYI." Don't let the dude touch you. Yeah. Uh, these don't, people don't are going real. Living. You are the strongest one on earth right now. He's also my dad. So they're telling him this because Gohan's literally came into this fight serious. Yeah. Non. What's going on, guys? Mm. Yeah. He was. He took his glasses straight off, and first move was he re-killed pick, uh, uh, Frieza in GT. He hit Frieza when he came back, but he hit everybody with this bam body punch. Yeah. Blast a hole in the motherfucker's mm-hmm. back, and it showed his chest and shit. And we got to see what um, three seven looked like or yeah. seven three seven. Yeah, something like that. So Gohan, it's a great fight. Gohan shows out. Mm. Uh, that's a good portion of this fight. And then you also get to see a little bit of Goku and uh, Old Boy training still in the hyperbolic time chamber. And the the beauty of this, I know we got like maybe like a minute left, but they're eating right. And Goku realizes that the person he's training with does not eat. And he's like, man, you, you just don't eat? And he yeah. was like, well, you know, I can eat if I want to. If I don't, it don't matter. And then Goku connect dots, which he rarely ever does. does. He was like, huh. I remember we, we said, that. said the same thing. And the old boy looked at him and was like, huh? But do you know what He Goku didn't ask. Is? That's the part that gave him away. He didn't yeah. ask, who's Whis? He's just exactly. like, huh? And yeah. then Goku said, well, I'm not going to eat either, which surprised me. And I was like, you will die if you don't eat. But yeah, but like, maybe that's Goku trying to hit this, this new hit level. Hit that God level, that so, angel level. Uh, so they're about to duke back off. So the table... The, the, the camera slides over to Weiss. He pops up in front of the Grand Elder, Daddy, and was like, hey, Dad, what's up, man? Uh, you no, know, Dad looking at him like, what's up? What's, you, you cool, Weiss? You know we yeah. ain't cool. You know Earth's, Universe 7 is getting real right mm-hmm. now. He's like, man, y'all stay on some bullshit. He, yeah. he was like, yeah, yeah. Now, I ain't coming here to ask you your permission about me jumping in because I already, I already know. But I am curious. You know. Not saying that... I wanted to jump in, but apparently you don't give two fucks, do you? And then he was like, well, why do you say that? And then he was like, well, you do realize Goku is training. And Well, he didn't really go into it. No. But he made reference to the person Goku is training, training with, with, who is a part of the Galactic Patrol, who is hardcore interfering. Interfering with. If he's an angel. If he's an angel. Yeah. He's, he's highly interfering with it. So uh, check it out. Super Dragon Ball Super Chapter Fifty Four. The next one comes out. You know we're in December now, so we got a new one that's coming out very Here soon. soon. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm 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 very excited about it. Nice. He had 15 seconds left. Trying to find his name. Um, Cause yeah, I'm right at the part where they're eating and shit. Godly. Oh, um, Maris. 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 Yeah, that's yeah, what Maris. he's training yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. 
And it, it gives that little hint that he's angelic too. Yeah, possibly. he might be angelic because he, he does be. know about the the what's the name the uh, ultra instinct mode, and we've seen his yeah. powers. He going. He got wild. hands. He ain't got weak hands though. No, but he got. But he got he, yeah, hands. he's sticking he with him. Hands. He's sticking yeah. with him. But uh, on that man, I say we. Uh, you want to take another break real quick and yeah, then just come back and yeah, uh, yeah. hit on Lightly Fitness oh, and then okay. we'll end the show yeah. with Anime and Manga of the yeah. Month? Yeah, let's do it. Sounds good. Oh. I might even teach you guys, some of my uh, my brethren out there, some uh, white words. I've been uh, researching and writing them down. <laughs> uh, so uh, don't hit that dial just yet. And a big woof to you two guys. We'll be right back with the Elijah Bailey Show. Welcome to the adventures of Splacketel, or the AOS Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Buck. And this is Tony. And we are a video game podcast, giving you all the update video game releases that are coming out that you need to know, and the video game news that we want you to know. Follow us on Facebook, Black and Gaming Network, and Twitter and Instagram at Black and Gaming. And you can also find this podcast on Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, by searching the AOS Podcast. Ooh! Hey everybody, this is Reverend Shaw. I'm Delisa. And I'm like father. Like daughter. And we just gonna hang out with you. We just gonna kind of talk about father-daughter relationships. The good, the bad, the ugly. When we like each other, when we don't like each other. And I hope Delisa don't clam up on me. Because that could be possible. <laughs> we just want you to check us out, man. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. You won't be let down. And we'll leave you with something that you can chew on and make your life that much better. Find Like Father, Like Daughter on Apple Podcasts, Podbeam, Spotify, or Black of Studios.com. Com. New shows drop every Saturday. 45. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe the it's week after. A, it's a, you said what? Maybe the week after. Maybe the week yeah. after. Because okay. we'll talk about that later in anime, uh, anime of the month. But anyways, uh, Elijah, one thing that we found this show on is yes. fitness and video games. That is true. So let's head on our fitness because we both um, have reached new levels yeah. of ourselves. Fitness, fitness, fitness. I, reaching new levels with a PlayStation hat and cup on. Level up. Fitness, bitch. Okay. That, 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 it was, I liked it, but I didn't. like. I liked it, but I think it was like. I think you are. I think judging. it was better. Anyways, <laughs> you're save that. Save that. Uh, put, a, put a pin in yeah, that. Put a pin put in a that. Pin in that. Uh, but mate, you've been since the last time we talked on the air. You've been meditating. Yes. yes How's I that have. going? The might, the might, the might is touch, 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 touch. I, I can't do the. <sighs> Ow. Yeah, my yeah. my throat just stung. But the meditation, yes, is, is the minus touch for the, <laughs> for the brain. <laughs> uh, inside joke, folks. Um, but yeah, the meditation. <laughs> Fuck. But anyways, the meditation. Yeah, it's you've just been working. Doing, yeah, I can't look at your face right it's now. It's working. Um, it feels good because I am uh, super relaxed afterwards, and it, it's like this uh, clearance. Just whew, opens up. There's uh, a lot of clarity for whatever I'm, whatever I'm doing. I'm not no longer like cleaning or doing the dishes as a way to relieve stress or to relax. I'm already there, so I'm more present in the moment of what I'm doing. So it helps. And then I either immediately go into working out or either working on a project, gotcha. like right after. Yeah, and that, that's kind of what I I start doing. Um, I meditate daily, but Thursday nights are my hardcore like. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a, a 45 minutes dedicated to just oh, yeah. meditating. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's intense. <laughs> I, you kind of wake up like, okay, I I'm am. ready to go. I'm, I'm, my <laughs> mind's racing, but um, uh, that's good, man. I know I'm you, only doing 10 minutes right that's now. That's actually what I normally time. try to do daily, like about five, mm -hmm. seven minutes daily. And, um, and then Thursdays come around. Thursdays is the day that I'm like, you know what? This is my complete reset. <laughs> the rage is built up. The rage is built up. Like I got, I got a reset and everything like that. So it's been helping. Um, uh, well, what's up, Storm Huff? Uh, he said, uh, "Shout outs from Austra uh, Austria, Austria." But anyways, uh, more Arnold. I've gotten back on my workout. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. And a little bit more intense. I finally cleaned out the garage because I've been having the table, you know, all that crap was in there. Yeah, I had, uh, it was dirty. All the dust was in there. Uh, So I finally. Dude, you just got to blow the dust out every night. Yeah, well, no, it's just because I was cutting that table, all that woodwork. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I forgot he's a working man. Yeah, so I cleaned all that stuff out, finally, uh, you know, organized my workout area again and uh, started. I was asking myself, what's a good workout? Mm-hmm. I could do because I've been doing the <laughs> Tim, the you know the 100 push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. Yeah, but you know that's not that's no weights, which yeah. is still great. Like, yeah, that's but that's, you, that's a daily you, thing. It's yeah. It's but I was like, now. I need I need to put jog in of the memory. Exactly, I, mean, I was like, I need memory. to put in that that work. So, yeah. what's the best workout to really mm, mm-hmm. feel it? That Arnold Schwarzenegger blueprint. Blueprint of fitness. Yes, yes. So that I want to bump you up. So I did the chest, the back. I did the legs. Uh, what's today? Sunday. I did the legs mm-hmm. Friday. I uh, didn't do anything last night because we had relatives Bro. over. Okay. Um, but out of everything that was hurting the most, mm-hmm. everything was definitely sore. But the traps mm. from the back, that was probably that was uh, what was <laughs> killing you. Man, man, yeah, that was that was killing yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, over doing here. this all day long. But with the Arnold, people thinking you crazy, like oh, yeah. he's shaking his head. Mm. But no, what the Arnold uh, blueprint is for the people who don't know. Uh, this is a gorgeous workout that we yeah. learned back when you was doing the boot camp. Yeah. Dude, uh, how many years ago was that? That was almost 43 years ago. Woo! Yeah. A long time ago, and it still fucking works. So the Arnold Beautiful. Blueprint is for every day, you get one rest one, one rest day a week mm-hmm. or every seven-day period. You have – it breaks up where it hits almost every little every part of your body. Yeah. The first day, I think it's chest and back, mm-hmm. and it's legs and – I tries. can't remember. Leg and, is it leg and tries? Uh, I can't I, I, remember. I'll look no, it up while you're talking. Themselves. Yeah, I think legs and are by themselves. And arms and... Legs and lower back, if you say, because you do good mornings yeah. as well. And you do 30 reps. Mm-hmm. You do five sets, 30 reps on the first one. Up, so. And then you do 15, yep. 12, 10, and 8. Yeah. And so it's a descending pyramid after you do... Everything has that 30 rep. Uh, warm up just to warm up the muscles. I usually like to hit it with the full weight. Yeah, you got to hit it strong. Yeah, you instead, hit of, it instead strong, of just doing a, like a light weight and then going to your weight, I'd always start with that. Yeah, because if you start out as strong, then that's what really uh, how it it it, it, it really it, it benefits yeah. you good because at that moment, by the time you get to the like rep or set four and five, yeah, you're like uh, I'm I'm like. I'm shot. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's I love working out that way. I feel like. That's you know, where you make the most growth is when you're struggling the most. And it's like not struggling to death, but your muscles and your mind are struggling to keep the composure you had when it didn't feel as hard yeah. to produce the same amount of work. Yeah. And then, then, then the abs and lower abs are like yeah. shot. That's, that's I'll take it back. That's probably the most pain mm. is, uh, I think, I can't remember which one it was, had the, because uh, <laughs> well, each one it ends with. Ab work, yeah, and the ab work normally adds up to 125 reps. That's the only reason, like any workouts that we do, always going to end with heavy ab work because, <laughs> like, I'm I'm a fighter, so you want to have your ab. You don't want you get hit in the stomach, be like, oh, looking like Deku on My Hero. You want to get hit and then be like, okay, it's cool, let's get it on. So that's the ab work part. So your abs are what's killing you. Yeah, the, the lower abs and the uh, the hip part. Hip because flexors. I think Yeah, the hip flexors. Yeah. I remember that. I remember oh, you saying yeah. that now. Because uh, uh, the, the knee raises. The knee raises were crucial. Um, and then one thing I'm loving <laughs> it now compared to the last time I did it, yeah. uh, my mental space is just a different space. I think I used mm-hmm. to work out with a lot of, like, stress and rage more. Yeah. Uh, this is more of, like, a tranquil. Uh, it's still, uh, you know, yeah. pushing it. But it's like you... You're you're one with yourself. I'm, be- I'm yeah. becoming. I haven't hit there yet, but yeah, I'm becoming more one Miyagi with myself. Miyagi standing off is like, yes, we just mm-hmm. some. Yeah, yes. the, the, the lights are going good, and the type of music that I'm working out to is different from the heavy metal that I used yeah. to work out to. So, uh, so <laughs> that reminds me, I, Jessica said something. I was like, I'm fucking angry now. I'm going to go in the bedroom and play death metal and just <laughs> fucking calm down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she started cracking up. But that's nice. You're getting back into the Arnold, man. Yeah. And I want to hit this. Uh, uh, yeah. Our, our uh, Storm Huff was asking, uh, what about chicken wings and watching some TV shows? There's nothing wrong with chicken wings. No, no. There's nothing wrong with TV shows at all because the Mandalorian, if that was an hour and a half long each, I would be sitting sitting there yeah. watching oh, that all day. I can't believe it's just day. like 30 minutes. It's, a, it's a quick hot 30. Yeah. But as long but as you're just doing a moderation, get up and walk around a little bit. I usually, Treat your heart good. Yeah, so I, tell me, tell us about your, well, yeah, tell us about your meditation, tell us about your workouts. So, uh, okay, so my workouts are always uh, 30, 
30 minutes to 45 minutes. And I always say 30 minutes because that one day I'm just like, dude, I feel it in my knee. I can't do 45, but I do 45 minutes of cardio on the elliptical. And then I'll do, I have 45 pound plates. I'll do a hundred shrugs, uh, shoulder shrugs and a hundred, uh, calf raises. Then I do the same style of ab work. I do independently because every day, no matter if it's in the morning at night, I do 40 pushups. I was doing 30. Now it's 40 and then a hundred deals of ab work. So it'll be a set of 30, then 10 push-ups, set of 30, 10 push-ups, set of 30, 10 push-ups, 10 and 10. That way I can go ahead and f- try to fatigue my chest uh, as I fatigue my core because as soon as I'm done. That's what I'm ready for. Up. I'm ready for the next chest because mm. I hit it. We're dealing with bench press, you, you know, I, I'm always cautious yeah. just because I don't have a spotter. Yeah. So I'll just be like, man, mm-hmm. I don't want to really try to kill myself. But after every time I do it, I'll be like – I should just do some more push-ups, I yeah. guess, because my chest is That's the way to fine. do it right there. Do um, do a rep uh, of 10 or whatever. Whatever your rep count is, do that. And, and just then, do another one. And then do 10 decline push-ups and then flip back up and try to hit that rep count again. Once it starts See, I, I broke my I broke my decline sit-up um, bench. What do you do the I, bench I could press probably on? fix it. Well, I got a bench press that can flatten and incline. Mm. But normally I use him for the decline, and I don't think the decline isn't until week two of the yeah. chest. Mm-hmm. So I got to try to really figure out, like, some of the metal pieces bent so he's not opening up. Gotcha. So I got I to figure, figure that out. Figure out how to change yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But I mean, any could, substitute I for a decline see. setup or a decline bench press? Mm. Everything's on a decline. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, well, you could – Get a chair uh-huh. and get Spend some my legs uh, up there. dumbbells. Yeah, put your legs up and then press by me. That's all this. Really, I can probably build one. Really, that's like a hip. Yeah, uh, a bridge. hip thruster. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with some with some uh, bench presses in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 build one. But uh, most mainly my stuff is using my forty five pound plates. I'll mm-hmm. try if I can. I'll double up on the grip on those. Do some uh, standing chest presses or shrugs or Ooh, lateral raises. Okay. Yeah, dude. And then I have, we have the workout bench and I just load it up. I have, uh, I do 50 pound reps for chest flies. I do 10 and then go into chest press, mm-hmm. go into slow, deep squeeze. Squeeze And it, I'll yeah. do those back to back. Then Superset it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then go and do. Yeah, that's, that's part of the Arnold. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's like, yeah. that's the chest and back. Yeah. Supersets are good because it, it gives no. Just the pump going. <laughs> the pump. <laughs> the pump. The pump. The pump. The pump. But anyways. Yeah. So uh, I just try to hit the chest, hit the core. And I have my cardio every day at work, but work could be anywhere from 15,000 steps to 30,000. So it's, it's never consistent because I, I travel a lot. Yeah. So then I just try to vary it up. Like, oh, I didn't do legs. Let's do those. And then I sent you that deal. I was doing the uh, seated uh, reverse curls. And I, yeah, I, you, you, we got Yeah, show me that. So it's just like you're sitting. Like knees, in a chair? Mm-hmm. Okay. Knees 9 degrees, tighten your core 9 degrees, and then just um, reverse curls. on the, And you can do... On the pull-up? Mm-hmm. Oh. Three sets of 5, three sets of 10, and you can even do wide like that. But that core is... Because you're already stabilizing your core as you go up. It's going to make you focus and also the hip flexors as well. Yeah, I can imagine. And then just make sure to stretch in between. Hmm, I have to so, start doing that yeah, on the nice. Yeah. But anyways, um, nice. That was our workout segment, something that we found this show on. And uh, I guess let's just jump into... Anime and manga. Anime and manga oh boy. of the month. It's another white phrase. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't think that's a white person phrase. Thanks, Maybe man. Is. Maybe that's why I say Thanks, it. man. Let's go. Yeah. Um, that's my white voice. Thanks, man. Cool guy. You have a white really voice. Really nice. You know, right? Heavy pour. You know that, right? Uh, Your normal voice. Eh, but you got to get even more. Like, yes, officer. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, <Yeah>. our <laughs> anime of the month is... Anime of the month. A classic old anime school. Anime of the fucking month. Charge Counterattack Mobile Suit Gundam. While it celebrates its 40th this month, or this year is Gundam's 40th year anniversary. Yes. And uh, this month, uh, we decided to do Charge Counterattack because it's going to be in theaters. Boom, December boom. 5th, which is this Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh Roughly today, from what I've seen. Show drops. Yeah, actually, today yeah. when the show drops, uh, check it out. Uh, in Oklahoma City, in Oklahoma, uh, we got the Harkins, Tinseltown, mm. and AMC Quail. I didn't Springs. know Tinseltown was showing it too. It surprised nice. me too um, at 7 p.m. So let me kind of 
actually give you all what the Star Wars counterattack is roughly about. If I, I can want remember. to go, but we'll be up here recording. But yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, you'll be up because then uh, father and daughter is at six. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you won't have yeah. any time. Uh, but uh, this, let's see the plot. Uh, it's Universal 0093. 13 years after the one year war, Shar Asmo has returned to lead Neil Zeon. Uh, as a field opens, Shar's forces have arranged to drop an asteroid fifth Luna onto the Earth. Uh, special forces form Lund- or Lundo Bell, uh, whose members include veteran soldier Amaro Ray and Bright Noah. Amaro. Um, is going to prevent this catastrophe. And uh, yeah, so yeah. another round yes. two. Of Shar tripping. <laughs> because this is funny, because the one year war, Shar was, you know, with Zion, with his own intentions, uh, just to seek revenge on the Zabi family. And then he becomes, uh, joining forces with the Earth Federation. And then he, you know, gets his senses together and, like, man, I am tripping. <laughs> they must have put something in my Kool Aid. <laughs> but yeah, so check it out. This is a old school classic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. Good pull. Good pick. Going into December, mm-hmm. which is, this is the last anime of the month of 2019. Yes. And so let's go to the last manga of the month for 2019. It's something that just started, only got 17 chapters. It is Spy Family. Now, remember, if you go to patreon.com forward slash Elijah Bailey show, you can click on anything that is blue. Those are your hyperlinks. are going to take you to where you can read the manga, where you can watch the anime, where you can read the articles that we have for the show notes and go to videos and everything else. So when you go to Patreon, just make sure to click those links to read up more or watch the video. Uh, so the spy family, the master spy codenamed Twilight, has spent his days on undercover missions all for the dream of a better world. But one day he receives a particular, particularly different new order from command. For his mission, he must form a temporary pa- family and start a new life, a spy action comedy about a one-of-a-kind family. So this caught my eye when I first found out about it last month because – you have two spies in the family. It's kind of like uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, Smith. Smith, yeah, with, yeah. Uh, Brad, Brad and Brad Angelina. Payton, yeah, and so this guy's a spy, and he's like, uh, somebody ask him something about you know having a loved one. He on that same day he broke up with his girlfriend because he was just using her to assassinate somebody, mm-hmm. and so his next deal is like, hey. Uh, we're going to need you to find a wife and have a kid. We need it done in one week because you need to get in real close with this diplomat and we need to kill him because he's going to start war. But little does he know the woman that he gets with is also a spy who's also running missions oh, at the same time. That's 100% like uh, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Smith. So it's, it's pretty funny. So far, uh, she comes into the relationship with the girl that's their daughter and they're both having to pretend and play family to, to get their means when they're working against each other and working with each other. So, nice, nice. Anime, our manga of the month is Spy Family. Nice. Manga of the month. With that being said, when Spy we hit the family. manga and the manga of the month, or the anime and the manga of the month, that normally means we're at the end of our show. Yep. Stay normally. tuned, or not stay tuned, but join us next week for episode 199, where we are going to be talking about anime. This is the place to go for anime. And that is very true. That is very true. <laughs> Like I said, next week we're talking about anime on episode 199. Yes. We're going to hit on our anime of the years. Our diff- we got different categories we're going to hit on with yeah. uh, coming with anime. So, um, Elijah, where can they find us at? You can find us on the official Facebook page, The Elijah Bailey Show, or on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram at Elijah Bailey Show. Just cut off the W at the end. That's SHO. Send your emails to Elijah Bailey Show at gmail.com, or simply subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts or Podbeam, or just add us to your playlist on Spotify. Where can they find you in Black and Studios? You can find Black and Studios at blackandstudios.com, Black and Studios on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and also Snapchat. Email us at podcast at blackestudios dot motherfucking com. Well, there's really no motherfucking com. There's just dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Yes. Elijah Bailey Show dot com. We need a website. Uh, I'm Elijah 5000. I am the underscore buckety. And we'll catch your ass in the next podcast.
Hey, what's up, everybody? Elijah 5000 here. Me and the Buckety appreciate it so much that you download this show each and every week. Again, we drop every Thursday. If you're new to the Elijah Bailey Show, go to Apple Podcasts, Podbean, or Spotify, or wherever you listen to this auditorial pleasure that you get weekly, and just subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you, and I'll catch your ass in the next podcast. Do you want to work in the meat district?